Um, we'll just go and find the moderator, excuse me. <laughs> we lost Bill. Ed, do you have the remote for the slides? Paul Sappho had the clicker, and here it is. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you didn't thank you. It. There you go. So sorry. Do we have our okay. Are you the first Chris? Yes, I am. Okay. Feedback okay. conference. Uh, so okay. Okay. Feedback? Yeah. Good. You made Perfect. it. Perfect. Yes. Okay. You're all set? Yeah. You got water, you got everything you need. Okay, do we have honors? Are you, are you Mike Phil? Okay. You're ex-caster. Yes. Ex ex-caster. Ex and you're Sar Saruna? Saruna. Saruna. Yeah. Saruna. It doesn't matter. Saruna I'm not going to even just try. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Saruna. Yeah, that's a caster. Okay. For today. Oh, do you want to mic me? So where do you want me to go while I'm? Oh. Should I or should I sit down there? There is no. I'll pop down there. Should I just pop down there? Um, I'll find you. Okay. So now, of course, I got distracted and I didn't move my mouse. Uh huh. Do you want me? <laughs> Does everyone have um, ballot cards? Yay, terrific. All right, are we ready to go? Well, good afternoon. I hope you all enjoyed your gourmet luncheons. I hope you all got enough caffeine to keep you going through the rest of the day. Right, so now we're gonna start with the entertainment portion of the program where you're gonna have the opportunity not just to listen to five brilliant entrepreneurs with breakthrough game-changing, curve-jumping, paradigm-shifting new technologies, but indeed you're gonna be able to vote on which of those companies you think is most likely to succeed, which of these entrepreneurs will wind up on that alumni panel you saw earlier this morning. So the other thing I want you to do, you had a, we had a great morning this morning. This morning, you had an extraordinary opportunity, right, to hear from some incredibly savvy venture capitalists from a profoundly intellectual and thoughtful um, entrepreneur, now academic, Steve Blank, understanding you know, sort of what it takes to make successful companies. Um, some great alumni experiences on what it takes to actually, you know, guys that have been in the trenches building these companies and then cap it all off with Paul Sappho and his vision of the creator future. So I want you to apply all of that profound knowledge that you acquired this morning as you evaluate and assess 
the companies that you're going to hear this afternoon and figure out now, do these guys have what it takes to be successful? Helping us with the process is a distinguished panel of investors, um, Anu Nigam from the Sand Hill Angels and Deepak Kamra from Canaan Partners. And I'm actually going to ask you to briefly introduce yourselves, just uh, a little bit about yourselves and your funds as we start. Okay? Deepak? Canaan Partners is a uh, global venture capital firm. We have offices in India, Israel, on the East Coast, and right here in Menlo Park, which is our biggest office. Uh, we focus on early stage technology and life sciences, and that's pretty broadly defined. Uh, internet, software, medical devices, biotech, uh, pretty much all aspects of that. Hi, uh, my name's Anu Nigam, and I'm a member of the Sandhill Angels, which is a 60-person angel investing group out here in the Bay Area. And I'm also an entrepreneur by day. I run a tech company called Best Apps Market. We do app discovery. So I know what you guys are going through. And the uh, angel investing side, uh, the Sandal Angels are a group of people like you, too. We're all mostly entrepreneurs, investing back in entrepreneurs, mostly IT and biotech, early Series A seed companies. And we're just looking for smart guys like us who want to work together and make some money. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So um, now first I, I was told to make sure... You all have your cell phones off. We don't want to hear any cell phone ringings. I think we've got that down by now in Silicon Valley. I also want to make sure you have your ballots and that you're prepared to vote at the end of the session. And with that, I want to introduce you to Exacaster. The, are you the CEO? Yes, I am. The CEO, Sharunas, is going to tell us about Exacaster, which is an automated machine learning, machine learning based customer behavior prediction cloud service for telecoms, retailers, and other consumer companies. Sharunas. Thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Sharunas from Lithuania. Some say it's the country of most beautiful women on earth. Well, uh, we know that it's a country that gave you Getjar, so I'm from that place. So Exacaster uh, is not exactly next generation internet. It's more next generation telco and retail. But we're actually taking the internet ideas and bringing it to more traditional industries. So if you look at, the, there are, at these companies, second and third tier telecoms and smaller retailers, they're actually sitting on petabytes of consumer behavior data, just as internet companies do. Yet customer acquisition, uh, revenue increase, or loyalty in these companies remain quite inefficient uh, activities. Many companies have a data warehouse and an analyst looking at the data once or twice a day and uh, think that's all that they can do. That would be the same as having Google search being powered by pigeons. It only works on the April Fool's Day. So if you are one of those unlucky few smaller companies, of which there are 200 telcos in the world and more than uh, several thousand retailers, you have no quick and affordable solution inside. You actually have to buy expensive platforms, hire consultants, and try to find where the state of the art is. Now, I was working for such a company myself, and I got sick and tired of looking at Excel for the entire year. I was trying to find customers who have unusual behavior patterns and understand what is going on in my customer base. I did find it, and I thought there must be a better way. So now we have Exacaster. Exacaster is a marketer's dream. So you point your data stream of consumer's behavior into our platform, and you enjoy a 50% increase in upsell and a 20% reduction in churn, which are some of the key applications that we're uh, using right now. For example, for customer acquisition too, you can say which campaigns to run, where and when. For revenue stimulation, which offers will work better and who would buy. For retention, who will leave like down to the names, and what is the likely retention impact of your campaigns that you're doing. If you are a retailer, you apply the same concepts when you have a loyalty program, you're working just like a telco. So we have right now uh, customers such as Careful Mobile in Belgium, Tele2, which is a discounter in the Scandinavian region, NetOne, a broadband provider, a regional carrier in, in the U.S. has just signed a contract with us, and Cherry, which is an online uh, daily deals uh, company in the Central Europe. A powerful engine that we have built uh, hides behind a single button, and that is, I think, our uh, main difference for many companies who are doing big data, because having the basic infrastructure is uh, not enough. It is very necessary to move where you need to be, but that's just the start. Most of the value comes when you get so close to the business that it becomes a single button. 
And it works like this. So you pick a business metric among all of the thousands that exist in your business and move to where you would like it to be. So in this case, we have the number of customers who are inactive, and I would like to reduce that number. Exacaster recommends which offers you have to run, towards which target groups, and what response you will get. Furthermore, once you do that, Exacaster tracks response of each customer and learns what will their behavior uh, do, what they will do in the future. And if you are a retailer, for example, by having a platform such as this monitor all your data, you find amazing applications. What happens if you log your competitors' campaigns in the same way? Now you see where they cause you damage. What happens if you log your uh, product layout changes? Now you see what happened. And we use such historical information then to help you move uh, in the future and say, I want to achieve this, then you have to do something like that. What are our advantages? We're better, cheaper, and more automated than anything that you can build in-house. Careful Mobile or Tele2 prefer us because it works well. It comes with lots of specific industry know-how, no need for PhDs or statisticians. There's, you won't find a statistical number anywhere near. And we also unfairly benefit from the fact that we're based in Eastern Europe. Uh, we have deep understanding of the target markets, and we are also uh, funding our R&D from European Union grants. Our go-to-market strategy is twofold. We started with our own sales team and signed up nine telcos so far. We are now partnering with established suppliers such as Cognitel in the UK, Effortel in Belgium, Telina in Netherlands, Smarter Mobile in the US, who can help our, us go to market faster. Uh, our pricing is very simple. It is a pay-as-you-grow uh, cloud service per month, which depends on the number of subscribers that you have from $3,000 to $8,000 and upwards uh, a month. We're also seeing that we can benefit a lot from uh, becoming like a gateway for data enrichment providers. For example, if you add weather forecast data to the internal data, you start finding unusual patterns that some campaigns work better on a rainy day. And that is just the beginning. Our sales and financial, so we expect to have $1.4 million in sales next year and uh, become profitable uh, sometime late in 2013. So four things to remember about Exacaster. Our clients report 50% increase in upsell and 20% reduction in churn. Having proven it with telcos, we're now going for online and offline retail and daily deals. We're replacing wishful thinking in marketing with something can, which can be called machine augmented thinking. We're predicting 4 million subscribers today uh, and we're ready for the next 400 million. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you very much. Well, now we have uh, four minutes in which I want to have our, our distinguished panel here ask some questions of Sarunas about, about the business and, and to clarify the, the business model further. Yeah. So what's the setup like? That's the biggest thing. Uh, what do you mean by setup? When they integrate in, how do you mark all the instances? How much time does a setup for each telco take and maintain? Yeah, so basically the key challenge that we have is how to get the, the detailed data out from the company and into the cloud. Yeah. And uh, that is something, when we show our product to marketing, they love it. Uh -huh. And then we have a three to six month struggle with the IT department exactly. to actually get the data out. So that's a fact of life and we're living with it. So the sale cycle, uh, the, the sale decision itself is usually quite fast and then the implementation takes several months. Uh, ideally, what we're doing with the partners, uh, we're pre-integrating with existing systems, so then we can sell much, much faster. So for example, right now we're talking with a billing provider uh, based in Denmark who has 45 customers. So we do the integration once, and then uh, we, we get uh, much, much more customers. So that, that, it is a challenge, but what we think is happening is when we move the data to the cloud, they, they're, they're basically stuck there. So if you want to move your data after we have tracked all of the campaigns and historical impacts and enriched your data, well, that, that's a tough thing to do. You basically cannot migrate away from the platform without losing all the valuable information. Uh, so I think it's a, a, I like what you're doing because it is an existing market and people will pay for it. Uh, it's very monetizable. Uh, I guess the, the good news and bad news is predictive analytics for analytics for telecom has been around a long time. Yes. Uh, there's money to be made with just small changes in loyalty yeah. or retention or churn. Uh, 
so since you're new at it, I guess you still have to prove that you're doing it better than everybody else. Mm -hmm. And so I guess that's the downside. Yeah. Uh, have you tried it with anything other than telecom today? Because that's in the rest of the industry, yeah. people are doing it themselves. Yeah. yeah. Especially startups like online dating or music sites or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so right. Okay, first, I guess first question: yeah. Do you know that it works? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah, I know okay. that it works. So that's the, the the startup is now 18 months old. And the reason why it took us so long, we wanted to be dead sure uh, that what we're doing is actually producing good results for the, for the customers. And most of them uh, wouldn't even consider if it, if it didn't work. And we were very lucky that our first customer was a very huge fan of what we were doing and really supported us with like ideas and, and so on, how we can improve it further. And now we come to the point where we, we're, we have basically telcos fighting over us and asking for exclusivity and not going to the competitor which is a nice problem to have. But, uh, so that's, that's on the part of does it work. On the part of have we tried on, on, on anything else? So yes, we, do ha we, we have tried in cable, for example, which is kind of telco. We have tried it in energy, which is a completely different vertical, and I haven't talked about it here. When you say and, energy, do you mean utilities? Uh, or uh, yeah, mean? utilities. Which okay. they, they ha some of the traders have a problem to predict how much electricity will be consumed, and it's not so tri oh. trivial. But uh, these are slow markets. So we, we mm -hmm. added retail because we believe it's a much bigger market than telco. There are several hundred telcos in the world which we can access. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the big ones have installed some kind of systems. As you were saying long time ago, all the small ones, they, they cannot afford half a million or a million dollar CapEx solution which takes years to deploy. So that's, the, that's why we think the model works very well because it's a cloud-based, very low risk for them to try and the upside is very huge. And uh, for retail, we are starting to work with the daily deals company uh, right now in the Central and Eastern Europe. And we looked at all of the data and everything yeah, I mean, it's that's available. Different. We see all the symptoms are there. So, But it's not a subscription-based business, right? So it's very uh, different. Yeah, but you still have recurring purchases. You yeah. still have customer bases and you still have marketing, which is doing campaigns. So it's essentially the same. Okay, great. Yeah, sorry well, we're out of time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Let's give a big round to Exacaster. Great. Thanks. So next up, we have Five Run. Fabian? Great to have you. So you got six <laughs> minutes to wow us. Okay. All right? <laughs> Brick and mortar retailers are struggling to compete. Who here remembers their neighborhood Blockbuster or Circuit City or their borders that may have closed down? It's not that retail is dying or brick and mortar retail specific is dying, it's that it's changing. It's going, undergoing a massive uh, evolution of, of how it's happening. A couple sobering facts that 80% of people who don't buy in store at a brick and mortar retailer, they buy online or they buy elsewhere. And it's not that human beings all of a sudden we become anti-social and we don't want to leave our houses, but rather it's that the online experience brings additional uh, self-service cap capabilities, being able to view additional data, product variations to help us make a purchase decision. That's lacking in the in-store uh, brick and mortar uh, category. In other words, large players or brick and mortar retailers have zero visibility uh, within that area. That's why you have players such as Macy's, Sephora, All Saints, J.C. Penney's, and a, a long line of other re retailers that are spending millions to uh, try to solve this problem. That's great if you're a billion-dollar retailer in terms of revenue, but what about the other 99% uh, that are out there in the world? That's where we come into. Our, our solution provides a deep, engaging platform that's used in-store as a product display device. So the value that this provides to the consumer is bringing that online experience inside the brick and mortar store so they could actually uh, have better data, better product variations to make a, a purchase decision. And then the retailer itself uh, is able to, to provide their customers a social connection or method of engaging with that product in store, which is... We'll just go and find the moderator. Ed, do you have the remote...
And here it is. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So sorry. Okay. Are you the first Chris? Perfect. Okay. Water you got. Everything you need. Okay. Do we have honors? Are you, are you, are you you're ex yes. And you're so shadow. Shadow try. I'm I'm the cap for today. Do you want to mic me? Let me just go while I'm... Should I, or should I sit down there? I'll um, pop down there. Um, I'll find you later. And now, of course, I got distracted. Okay. <laughs> Does everyone know it's... Yay, terrific. To go. I hope you all enjoy questions. I hope you'll keep you going through the rest of So now we're going to start with a program where you're not just to listen to brilliant entrepreneurs changing curve jumping new technologies, be able to vote on think is most likely. Which of these entrepreneurs will panel you saw earlier this morning? The other thing I want you to do this morning, this morning, you have opportunity, right, to hear from savvy venture capitalist, foundly thoughtful academic um, Steve Blank, what it takes to make successful, um, some great alumni on what it takes to actually, you know, get companies and then cap it all off -O and later future. So I want that profound knowledge that you, as you evaluate the companies that you're going to figure out now, what it takes to be successful. But the process is a panel of investors come from the Sand Hill Angel from Kane. going to ask you to yourselves just uh, in your funds as we start. A uh, global venture capital from India, Israel, on the park, which is our biggest office. It's on early stage technology, and that's pretty broadly defined. Software, uh, pretty much. Okay. Anu Nigam, and I'm, um, which is a 60 person angel in the Bay Area, and I'm also on a tech company called App Discovery. So I know what you got. The uh, angel investing side, people like you too, we're all back in entrepreneurs. Most early Series A seed, we're just looking for smart guys like us. Money. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Um, now, first, I want you all have your cell phones. So I think we've got that. I also want to make sure you have your ballot prepared to vote at the end of. And with that, I want to Exacaster, the CEO. Yes, I am. Is going to tell us about an automated machine learning based customer behavior for telecoms retail consumer companies. Sure. Uh, hi, everyone from Lithuania, some women on earth, country that gave you get jar place. So Exacaster, exactly next generation, next generation telco, and actually taking the intern to more traditional industry. Look at the, the third tire telecom, they're actually sitting on petabyte data just as internet. Yet customer acquisition loyalty in these company efficient uh, activities. Have a data warehouse and have the data once or the thing that's all the same as having good pigeons. It only was day. So if a few smaller companies, 200 telcos in the world, several thousand retail, have no quick and affordable solution to buy expensive platforms and try to fix this. Now I own myself and I'm looking at Excel for the ins trying to find customer patterns and understand what is going on. I did find it their way. So now we have Exacast Dream. So you point consumers' behavior and enjoy a 50% and a 20% reduction of the key application right now. For addition two, you can see where and when, which offers will work better for retention down to the names, retention impact of your campaign. If you are a retail team concepts, it, when you're working just like a staff right now, uh, mobile in Belgium, in the Scandinavian region, band provider, a regional has just signed a contract with online uh, data central Europe. Engine that we have built a single button and uh, main difference for big data because here is uh, not enough to move where you need just the start. Most of the value flows to the business that it, and it works like this. A business metric um, that exists in your business where you would like it to be. Have the number of customers to reduce that number. Commands which offers you have, which target groups. And that. furthermore, Exacaster tracks and learns what will do what they will do in the. If you are a re having a platform such as data, you find a what happens if you log your same way. Now you see what happens if you log out changes. Now you see, and we use such and to help you move and say, I want to achieve this and like that. Advantages. We're better, cheap than anything that you can build. Full mobile or tele 2 parallel. It comes with lots of how, no need for PhD. You won't find the statistical. And we also and fairly based in Eastern Europe, deep understanding of the target, also uh, funding our R and grants. Strategy 
is twofold team and signed up. Now. We are now partnering with just Cognitel in the Belgium, Telina in Netherlands, the US, who can market faster. Pricing is very simple. It's uh, cloud service depends on the number of subscribers, three thousand dollars to eight thousand a month. We also benefit a lot from uh, like a gateway for, for example, if you to the internal the unusual patterns that some company day, and that is just our sales to have 1.4 million and uh, sometime late in 2000. So four things to remember. Our clients report upsell and 20% reduction, improving it with telcos, we're offline retail, and they're using wishful thinking in market, which can be called machine. We're predicting four million, uh, and we're ready for the next. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, now we have minutes in which I want to have a panel here ask about, about the business, clarify the, the business model. What's the setup like? That's the big setup. When the integration says, how much time does it set and maintain? Yeah, so what we have is how to get there from the company and into the, that is something marketing. They love it. Huh. To six months struggle with to get the data out. So they're living with it. So the, the, the sale decision is, and then the implementation. Uh, ideally, uh, partners uh, with existing systems. So then, so for example, provider uh, base five customers. So we, and then uh, we much more customers. So that, but what we think is data to the cloud stuck there. So if you want, we have tracked all local impacts and enriched your, it's a tough thing to do. You pay from the platform without losing information. So I think it's a, a thing because it is an exist, pay for it. Uh, it's very, uh, I guess the, the good of analytics for, and it's been around a long time. Yes. But just small changes in loyal. Uh, still have to prove that you're doing. And so I guess, uh, have you tried them today? Because that's, they're doing it themselves, yeah. online dating or music. Uh, yeah. So right, right first, uh, yes, it does. Yeah, the, the, the startup is now a reason why it took us so sure uh, that what we're doing results for the for the customer uh, wouldn't even consider. And we were very lucky. Was a very huge fan supported us with like I can improve it further. And we we're, we have basic us and asking for exclusive competitor, which is uh, but uh, so that's that's on the part of anything else. So yes, we do cable for example. We have tried it in energy. Go and I haven't talked about it. Energy? Do you mean uh, utilities? They, they ha some of the trade. How much electricity will be trivial? But so we we mm -hmm. added a much bigger market than telcos in the world, which we can act. All the big ones having, as you were saying, long ones. They they can million dollar capex. Takes years to deploy. I think the model works very well. Very low risk for them to try. Very huge. For retail, we are starting a company uh, right now, and we looked at everything yeah, I mean, that's available so there. So, but it's not, so it's very uh, different. Recurring purchases, you yeah. still, still have marketing, which is essentially the same. Time, okay. yeah. thank you thank very you. much. The big round to execute. Great. Next up, we have five. Fabian, yeah, great to have you. <laughs> so you got, this. Okay. all right. Brick and mortar retailers, who here remember Buster? or circuits, there are borders that may have closed. If retail is dying or breaking, is that it's changing, going to massive uh, happening. A couple sober percent of people who don't retailer, they buy all, and it's not that human beings are anti-social and we don't want others, it's that the, it all brings additional uh, capabilities, being able to view product variations to help us make, that's lacking in the in-store uh, category. There's or brick and mortar retailers uh, within that area. There's Macy's, Sephora, Penny's, and a, a long list that are spending millions to solve this problem a billion dollar retailer into 99%. That's where we come into. Our, our solution for platform that's used display device to the consumer is bringing that online to the brick and mortar store, better data, better purchase decision. Self uh, is able to a social connection product in store, which is when How does this to actually talk about, is this a, uh, East prior to Fiverr and the retailers, they had, they have a base and they had their products mounted, but they had some product material about and you or you in there and you looked at a red sofa and the analytics they had was, hey John, I think we should borrow these red sofas there. That doesn't scale, it's just a run solution now. They were able to have an engaging form to be able to display them. Gain valuable intelligence and data that they could actually use. Merchandising decisions built by aisle and by product. The day affects their bottom line, increased sales. Mark, our target market often uh, retailer global. We're actually focused on get high value uh, products such as furniture, uh, motorcycles, so on. On the freemium model. It's free monthly subscription pricing tier per device per month and at 40. Between the various tiers is the additional uh, information uh, about their actual customer. Our distribution stress, in other words, uh, or simply takes the end up within the app itself or is able to completely set up their product to know uh, needs for customers or anything down that path. We're going to be leveraging 
and uh, early relationship and uh, viral adoption uh, expand our usage. Startup is nothing without a, a that's a fact of the matter. My, my first having been in the software space, then I, at uh, IBM and my other co-founders bring uh, analytics, clean mobile product management. Our competition really boils down to from where there's somewhere in either a sensor or attempting to a person might like on the actual from kind of expensive by software solutions or actually eyeballs people at studies on that uh, there's none of those three solutions but not a single what I mean it's for buying and selling based on point could happen that's provide that repeatable in real time make make no uh, about it retail is it on it's broken it's models that are there are examples of uh, sellers that have faced that on your Apple and you have provided an immersive, engaging. We're poised to capitalize upon this, and we've reached first revenue in house. Come join us. Hey, <laughs> hey some questions from our panel. Uh, I think retailers, small, and display their wares. I guess I'm not understanding return on that investment. I mean, there are people get online. And right, so we're not actually creating that s section at all. We're them solve the in-store problem. You're uh, limited to that you could actually view the product inventory in the store. Of that. So it's a the mobile channel inside the actual store. Okay. Uh, the data looking at and how they're viewing the iPad app or to be a product display onto next to that specific product shows uh, a multiple whatever else they would like to, to uh, there is salty signals that that customer signal about and try looking for additional view and it even allows like from inside the store and now that uh, they, they could use to market it and actually have some information or so that's a tablet per right it, it, there's many different tablet per product category that they want to you know be able to highlight exactly sign in and yep. you can make me sign. This, okay. it, and this and this we're is each kind of it's uh, this anonymous to browse. So we're actually per visit basis. Okay. To so use the data. Uh, yeah. So what we're what what we're larger of the small. So in other words, five plus locations value in because right now ask their sales people what should we sell data which doesn't say what it was. And what could be is based on kind of showing their likes, but so they're anonymous likes initially. Likes and so what we do is using it, we're able to understand using. The iPad and the way that as as uh, and through these various sort of ability that they're using, and can they purchase for? So the, the target of the kind of the higher value brick and mortar, we have really great customers don't want to buy a two the iPad anyway, right? So to it, and then we're replacing that. But at the same time, we're down that path, right? It's always an option. Do we rather interact with an or that? What <laughs> right. No, that's actually, I, I I don't think that we. But more importantly, we make them more. These 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 uh, answer constantly uh, hearing from our customers that's about these variations of something. I don't have to look for. A, uh, I can see it myself. Exactly. Okay. Any other questions? Wait, what's five run? Five, the number five is in two five fingers, five toes, right? So it's intuitive and run implies mobility. So yeah, we're focused on. Great. Okay, a big hand for. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okay, next up, and mind you're one of the founders of Gremlin. And Gremlin. That's if you isn't, then Gremlin manage it. You have to, uh, I happen to be the only person using uh, Getting set up. <laughs> we're set, we're set. St. Louis, Missouri, right? Thank so. you. Yeah, yeah. We have, we're based okay. out of St. Louis. We have an And to the, uh, uh, the monitors displaying that I'm up, Let's see. I'm happy to bow and reassess. We know. Close. Maybe. Mode, I see him back there going, uh -huh. actually. And we think we got you plugged yeah, in. It certainly looks like it. Oh, yeah. Are we? And if we need to accommodate. No, no. We... Is it not? Is it mm. not? Sure, here he is. He's right there. Oh. Okay. Things in St. Louis. These sure. Things. Growing startup community. It's really exciting. went through a uh, accelerator in Techstars it's called Capital. A lot of funding coming to help uh, get started in St. Louis. Something specifically towards biotech. You know, Monsanto. A lot of bioengineering companies right. could put together and say, hey, we've got this for we got a lot of... Uh, but it's, it's a rapidly flowing into the space, a lot of one of them, uh -huh. and uh, have uh, received our funding to build out our product and our uh, uh, kind of uh, full of what can come through companies of note that are starting uh, group companies like Locker Dome uh, and then Gremlin, the program from the very all the way to uh, uh, to searching for yeah, so. Hmm. Good. Well, so Going through St. Louis uh, uh -huh. spring, and there was also water flow. The Mississippi was. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's <laughs> always it is. But uh, uh -huh. uh, the levees. I went, went to the top of the arch. And it's, it's a miraculous experience. Kind of like it's just a. The arch in St. Louis is good. Exactly. I think we so. did a fantastic job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. During that process, thank you. You were good, Bill. Thank you. So much. patience. I'm Ryan Bell. .com. We make profess for businesses, that communities, in sites like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google+. Interesting fact, for some demographics, more time was spent in social media, and that is profound, shifting their market media over to social media. You see this on a daily basis. Something happens when you go from Facebook 
to social media is not involvement is essential not free so one of the problems that small businesses do when dealing with social media is exactly the product they're looking for. these problems include time organized monitoring about their products and brands and social determining the sentiment of that company, sure that they're getting a return on that now how do we save gremlin we do that with our inter companies are finding themselves in twitter then LinkedIn to try and have a cohesive campaign through multiple and allow you to put those all into one to use multiple social blog searches all a state Gremlin, we enable you to use our calendar interface and build out of any software uh, set your campaigns up those still interact with your social media what people are saying about your brand at the same time journal uh, this algorithm that we've written it's it parses publicly activity and negativity and we know that negativity happens so you can read customers you're sorry if they're having bad on that only they can use how do you measure success? An analytic system that enables you both on click tracking, in your growth in social media, and making from social media. The loop you find that. Here's a uh, link click. Revis is Latin for short for tracking. A uh, link clicks. Here's an example of a report as a PDF. We help you as you show the end bottom line. And here's for this a quick snapshot of how it works. Why businesses struggle? We've solved it here at Grand. Following the tweet to the same that is we enable you to next on a link. But you, well, which one of those sales came from? So you track that down. Once, like your thank you page, you learn that actually 20 teams specifically from your Twitter and corp your employees from putting their foot. Make sure you stay compliant. FTC, FDA, clients, rules, and organizations, social media interaction, and prevent your employees from making partly and simply as well. Keywords and phrases you'd like to blow negatively and mentions your company shouldn't do that. Uh, and we also such as determining tip if they're in the financial service. Apply some of our natural language pro parsing it intelligently. Agencies we see as our partners small marketing agencies for help and allow them to skin our system product and sell it to their crews. We see them as somebody. Also, it works wonderfully for tiers if you want to integrate it directly. What we've done for State Farm to enable the system internally and it looks just and in this space, I'm sure you're all in here going, how is Gremlin different? Aligned with our sentiment analysis and we are built from the businesses and priced for them. And we're franchised. We make money by the service model. We have a $1,000 a month version and billion dollar market market for companies like us on customers in a we have 120, I mentioned a minute ago, we're a graduate. I'm happy to mention we recycle companies in the world it's because we can keep them. Our growth projections, $4 million in revenue, 50,000 users by year, 28 million in revenue. Examples of exits, Radiant, $600 million recently. We recently had a private offering at some old PC World Magazine called us one of our Twitter. Recently said we had a better product. Thank you for your time. Here's an Please stop by later and see us at the, thank you. Much. Thank Appreciate you. It. So, congratulations. You moved. You had a four point far along. Are you on that launch event? So, one okay. of the reasons it makes launch event is the fact that uh, when did you launch? Well, there's four answers. Is the one when we started charging people. So that one recently happened in the middle. Our product to be paid. We've got good traction. Uh, the ring and uh, one of the reasons why we built our product and we're stage that we're in. So okay, like you and the we're taking them on head on. Differentiation between. Uh, we got a lot of comparable features that are familiar to you if you've used. They have their feature set in addition to our white label. But once it's is they have a low end plan. Uh, I mean, they could always fill that in donut hole in the pricing points. Features at prices around dollar a month plans, where's the fifteen hundred dollar level? Uh, it, yes. And small business, you know, an area that's relatively traded so far. Right. Everybody sees that it get to very hard to get their attention and use it. What's your distribution? Well, there's a couple of things. One, we've got a point with no marketing whatsoever. It's the design, the interface. We're monitoring that to determine count on that type of growth to continue. Um, with respect to those customers, uh, we're implements dedicated to traditional online advertising. We eat our own dog food. We use product uh, uh, to the map. We have a direct sales team that's for the purpose of uh, insurance companies, the uh, uh, the pharmaceutical companies. And we do have a small sales team dedicated to electronic ad campaign, sponsoring events. Uh, this is a reading to get the brand and to see that it's a... And how many of those are paying customers? 20,000 are paying customers. We have a backing people to pay. Uh, uh, oh, that's a, that's a... We're in the thousands, uh, but we've uh, we've got started. So how fresh it sounds like price you Competitor raises two hundred yes. on the free money. So, uh -huh. it's, oh, is it work? Is it keyword matching or there are have a a, a complaint making sure that your employees don't like. We enable you to upload one. You already do this for email. Let's set up upload them in one snap keywords and phrases. But with the intentional language processing tools, we trained our system to recognize the financial services. And you click a post stock tip or man, this looks like a stock. If you're in the pharmaceutical space, symptoms that your drug so say you just mentioned the company name. A terrible day today at and we we try and knowledge of natural language process to the ability to the social media and to do, store and archive every side of your system. So line it with audits too. So. Thanks a lot. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Big hand for Gremlin. Want to take your laptop or how? Okay. <laughs> okay, he has going to take it. I have from New York, right?
<laughs> it's the afternoon. Right, Rob. Of yes. Noodle Education. Absolutely. Noodle Education helps you make a patient decision in your life. Thank you, Bill and Deepak <laughs> and Launch SV for having us. I'm Rob Ryman as Bill So of Noodle. We are recommendation engine for education. So we start with a question, a preschool or, or a fitness coach or, or an instructional video. Questions we ask find such a thing. And for most, Google. But we know Google most of these questions are highly considered purchases months or years of other vertical search user experience. So for example, the home improvement space could that um, restaurants, uh, you've, you've been able to travel, kayak, $1.3 trillion operating principle with you across the life cycle. If I, our panel, I would have put up the data very much think of ourselves for education. Not only um, operating principle, but relative to the even more. According to more than 72 weeks to follow an education, this is a hard purchase, as we know. But we know, according to Google, searches start unbranded what they're looking for, and they want so fundamental pillars. One, get the best data available do. Two, matching engine that purse for you and what you're looking for. We help you leverage your is profoundly search for it and the experience of really missing to date. So we recently went into a picture of our home. The question, the first question today, what can we help you with? Find a K-12 school, find a great tutor, a guidance counselor. We can help you find a, say you're local, or maybe you're looking for, perhaps you're looking for things are live today. Product rollout plan verticals from here. Let's look for a second. This looks like the recommendation. A question that we ask you in our looking for a college and not out where you'll get in. We figure out what's a good fit that you answer over time. On a Saturday evening, what do you like? Questions we dynamically and give you best fit recommendations. List of some of the specifically in that college. So let's say you've gone through this. I should have thought about Swarthmore. Or let's look deeper at a pro. So here you see a Swarth view. We start with distill the most important. In here you've got a what a Rotten Tomatoes style reviews from the best. And not only that, but we bring from all of the ratings on every college. We, we think about what kind of about Swarthmore, what I care about. Do people major in? I didn't know that popular on this very select. Well, this is K-12, private school in New York, but we have in the country live on our Because we are focused on the customer, because we're focused on customers across all the vertical iterative process to information about Dalton, parents who are considering the Dalton thinking about getting tutors an incredibly ambitious, very, very, very big. Together, a team that has background media and lead generation. Here's some of the folks in our out. Um, Kyle Jaster, our fear in the audience today as well. And our, our chairman is founder and chairman of the print company public. He's also another ed tech company called $100 million, probably the company today. And we're his most company that he's, that he's founded. Happy to um, share Noodle with for us to be launch, answer any questions. Thanks very much. Attention. Great Thanks. job. Thank you. <laughs> So the data you're private or open source? We've got uh, let me cheat from we've got five sources of data from um, uh, databases of all kinds. Data from news and black user generated data. Tutor. We've got data from the provider and own their profile. Illustrator of that high school. Animation there. And then last fill in match.com. Deepak. Thing that um, I think we're most is the is the metadata the, for the first time going to like who who send their so interested in wine court. In the same way that dating site put, wear a collar shirt and oysters. You'll attract the sex went to an Ivy League school. Apply to education. <laughs> Found with profound vision providers on consumers. Where a two-sided marketplace is going to be useful to both sides. A, a short question. You said it's a big idea. It's a big It's not exactly you mentioned travel, restaurants. There's already a very competitive search. There's big lead gen. And people do start their search design. Hundreds of companies claim to have a nice user interface. Some of them even. You have a tough battle ahead of you. It's a market that probably available is how do you get people I mean how do you well, I'll answer the user acquisition challenge your premise I don't think a thick and crowded marketplace there's out there they are part of already executed part there is help in the college sent help in grad school and much of the grad school search by the way is really craven it's really ways that will tell you that you should matter what you may be Wharton material before you hear Wharton um, articles it's really the so if you're a lawyer who's licensed and find a continuing or if you're trying to find a wine class in your area, and, and, and so the um, so, spectrum. Yeah, for every vertical in there. Yes, we are, and, and so many of the verticals. The world we live in, in terms of is, is where a few years ago when there was a site for and maybe a site for, we are looking at service magic in Angie's list that you want. You want someone, a site every time you're looking for a school for any of those things, and, and we think of being lifetime value focused. No one else who's going cross we are. Um, that's, we think that's been strategy. I'll, I'll show you. We have a, a four problems. There are features in our site that we do that I think are profound in the overused sense so far as it's in the user that they're friends to our site with you. We have um, value. First of all, we think that there's a lot of any two couples sitting around about something, they're talking about their interest in something like this. Of having every school in the country, 5,000 providers on. 
There's partnerships that below or being, and then I think we can affordably get bring people on in case cheap or free almost. They're much more expensive. Okay, I see getting the hook. I apologize. Thanks for a big hand for. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got to I don't doubt that I think this was Bing showed up on the screen. Now our generous host. <laughs> um, yes, I'm sure it's totally. So the the rule the rule entrepreneurs you know if you're going to go ahead use Google search go ahead use Bing right yeah. a little a little shout out so <laughs> King of Bellevue Washington next up is well, Tom and uh, uh, former Microsoft not to work for Microsoft okay so Just, uh, take it away that um, should take you forward and can how how do you get on oh you want to oh you want to oh there's no way slides. that's fine is that okay, Just, yeah. okay. <laughs> all right so we three Balin with pick up, uh, we are building the the uh, plot that's going to disrupt the way. Very basic idea. This is go going to go through that. So uh, eBay, right? So we kind of of the eBay capture the desire of people to buy certain products or services. Line it could be local. If want to buy type of or want to buy a car now, or and willing to pay three people specify what and how much they're willing to pay used online. Uh, Right, this is kind of the idea. We can from Facebook, Twitter, from the website. Now, once they get into the system and moderate it, understand both the system as well as exactly what people are looking for. We got plenty of up. We got over 50, and this number keeps going up. We notify them about, now, we want the list of products and services. Once they do that, generate this essentially so kind of another way to look at next generation. And then the merchants get this request, feed them between themselves, price or the best deal, send it over as a quote, as an off type of deal. And we promote a different standpoint that say, so once there is a number of code for the same product, we know what people get this, this request, and that becomes a group. Um, this whole marketplace is really straightforward that there's plenty of similar type of model has been implemented, service magic, uh, lending tree, but each is, we pretty much create everything. So it could be industry, any single version. And one of the kind of the actually the product, what we call custom market buy is just one marketplace going on so far, and have a white label model to the any blogger will work with um, to create uh, their run that marketplace, and, or blogger or community revenue sharing model. Um, personalized, personalized matched with the products and, product, and merchants compete to get the, to the uh, consumers. Both consumers, and two different kind of value props. Consumer standpoint, get exactly what they, what they specify, a whole bunch of criteria that could be kind of generic. The other thing is um, they post what they're looking, get some advice or members of the group place in terms of, hey, my car, should I go to a certain mechanic? From the merchant standpoint, it's seen so many inflows, merchants coming to the site, and some, it's no brainer. They get almost right away. So a way for them, right, to, to log into the merchant center. Who wants to buy my product, my location, right at this to, to, to get there? Um, obviously, the width of the leads is, think of it as a kind of, in terms of people go to the Google and they, we want to monetize their query, that particular, we know exactly what in bulk to the groups of uh, from the, the three sources of revenue, the lead generation fee, if the transaction happens. So we started about four years ago. Uh, this is our second company to Microsoft. We used to live here. Uh, 12 developers and designers. We've got over 5,200 merch, and that number is growing. And uh, this whole holding, and we like this whole social shopping space. Uh, welcome to visit the site and post your request there. Thank you. Good timing. Thank you. <laughs> so, questions from our panel? Great idea. Uh, <clears throat> I guess I have to scale, as with a lot of market consumers and merchants. And, and you're spreading it across a lot of price line, et cetera. They're, again, vertical. So, I guess. The idea has been tried in the past, worked in the past, and you know, on days everybody's had the reverse. Can you give me a little history? Sure. So, so we we've been quite a few times, right? That's what I do. The, I, one of the ways for us to so from the merchant stand, mm -hmm. they like the idea to get the customers to the site, and that's the reason why places that they, you know, will we'll show the how we sh the, one of the basic principles of these custom marketplaces are in Seattle.pikaba in Bay Area.pikaba.org.pikaba.com. Dot 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 Each one on certain category call in that particular location by kind of subject matter expert. So you're going to do verticals, by but we let other we focus on the software. This platform, so it gets into to more towards the marketplaces, kind of. But this is very much the basic idea of capturing of a person to buy something. So in the end, white label. I mean, you haven't launched. No, no, we launched it. So, so the website, yeah, but, but the custom marketplace had a few beta customers. In general, now you you on this new thing you're launching because people will curate it. We yes, right, exactly. So publishers uh -huh. and we sign up publishers. 
you know, good cash. They want to, they own existing communities, or they, so they look for ways to move existing communities. Now, here's a full solution, free for you, by us. Mm -hmm. Now, care where the leads come from, quality leads, but the your community members, you know, helping them where to buy or maybe group. But I'm trying to say this white label thing says, it's so, like a marketing uh, channel, I guess. Right. I'll give you an example. We local newspapers in the state of Washington, the existing community of people, their website, or they're reading this custom marketplace. A couple of people who run the put kind of essentially thing, it is integrated into their web, who sign up on their website, get to access to a place, and then that becomes with them. We can add revenue from the merchant. It's the only way for them to, but the most popular way. But Classifieds, and you're saying their way. So we're expanding that. It kind of goes to the kind of social classified, simple classifieds that they may have, of course. Okay. Great. One last mm -hmm. Russian cartoon character. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> excellent, excellent presentations. That was quick. Lithuania, St. Louis, New York. We had some interesting. I hope you all have your ballots, right? Doesn't have a ballot? No. Out. So should we just. <laughs> what are we going to do? Most people have uh, the great volunteers here up and down collecting them. Mark uh, is likely to succeed. So of the five companies, his ballot, then you're going to. Danella, who and she'll collect the anonymous, right? <laughs> if this works, but please, and we have a um, break. Yes. And please come back for the next session here at exact. We'll have five more brilliant much and a thank you, please. If uh, <laughs> Joanna or collecting the. Uh